I know you'll be wondering why am I talking about halves and quarters? Isn't that English? Aren't we supposed to be learning maths? And what makes maths maths? We always use numbers. That's why we call it maths. Yep, yeah, that's right. You've got to use numbers. Well, this is where I bring to you fractions. A fraction represents part of a whole. Let me repeat that for you because this is what we will be using multiple times today. A fraction represents part of a whole. I have the square made of a hundred Lego blocks. What you need to understand here is that every block contributes individually towards making the whole. So if you take away one block, you're removing one piece from a block made of a hundred pieces, which means that each block is a part of the whole. The thing is, parts of a whole is very common and you use it every day. A whole bar of chocolate is made of smaller squares. A brick is a part of the whole house. A single crayon is a part of the whole box. You are a part of your whole family. I can go on and on and on. But what I have not told you is how to represent parts of a whole mathematically. Ta-da! We need to use fractions to represent this. Unlike regular numbers, to write fractions, we need two numbers. One number on the top and one number on the bottom and a line in between them. I will get to what that line means a little later. But for now, let's understand what each of these two numbers mean to us. Let us say you have a quarter of the pizza. Now, let us represent what you have in terms of numbers. Remember, I told you fractions are used to represent parts of a whole. So, in the language of mathematics, the number at the bottom tells us how many parts the whole pizza is divided into. When you took a quarter, we divided the pizza into four parts. So, you write four at the bottom. And the number that you write at the bottom has a special name. You call it denominator. So, in this fraction, the denominator is 4. And the number on top tells us how many parts of the whole you have. Here, you had 1 out of the 4 parts. And just like the bottom number had a special name, the top number also has a special name. It's called numerator. So, in this fraction, the numerator is 1. In the fraction form, we write it as 1 by 4. In this case, 1 is the numerator and 4 is the denominator. The numerator tells you how many parts you have and the denominator tells you how many parts you initially divided your whole into. Now, remember the cookie that you guys divided into two parts? Those two parts go down here. And you ate one of those parts, right? Which means that goes up there. And it is represented mathematically, like you can see, as 1 by 2. So far, so good, right? Let's take a chocolate. And this chocolate is divided into eight equal parts. Now, I give you three of those parts. Since the total number of parts is eight, the denominator will be eight. And since you have three of those parts, the numerator will be three. So, the fraction of the chocolate that I'm giving you is three over eight or three eighths of the whole chocolate. Let's try a few more examples to clear this. This rectangle, is divided into three equal parts and two of them are shaded blue. So, two over three or two thirds of the rectangle is shaded blue. Let's do one more. This hexagon is divided into six equal parts and four of those parts are shaded red and two are shaded blue. What fraction do you think of the hexagon is shaded blue? The hexagon is divided into six equal parts. 
which means 6 mm -hmm. comes to the denominator and 4 are shaded red. So the fractional representation is 4 by 6. And also we have 2 by 6 as the fractional representation of blue. There is one more place where you have already used fractions. Your test score. Let's see. You take a maths test and there is 15 questions and you get 13 of those questions right. That means you get 13 over 15 as a score. I know you don't like discussing your marks much, but we are going to come back to it in a while. Did you get any of that? You weren't even paying attention. This is so easy. Fractions is all about identifying the numerator and the denominator. Also, what I understand from the representation of fractions is that I can visualize a problem by bringing up an appropriate shape that can be divided into specific number of equal parts, which gives us the total number of parts and we call it the denominator and the number of parts that are shaded amongst the lot gives us the numerator.